Attention! Go! Well, we promised you the races after the tea interval would be good, thick and fast. And this again is no exception. The Fawley Challenge Cup between Henley Rowing Club and Sir William Borley's Grammar School. Both previous finalists, previous winners of this event. This is going to be another great one, Greg. Should be a really good race. There were some real interesting rivalries in this one. Not just the geographical one that you've got. Henley Rowing Club, obviously here on the Henley stretch. And Sir William Borley's Grammar School from Marlow. So these two going head to head and going right at it. We'll, we'll talk more about the relationships as the race goes on. Top of the island, bow ball to bow ball. This is what we love. Wow, look at that. We've not seen many races like that today. Bow ball to bow ball. And uh, we're going to jump now live to the, the live pictures because this race is already well and truly through the centre stages and still very close. It looks to me as if Henley Rowing Club on home water have just got the advantage, which again, they were fourth at national schools, whereas uh, Borlays were in the B final. We'd expect on paper for Henley to pull this one out the bag. Henley would expect to move away here. The crews now are just coming down towards Forley, so they're coming up, they're, they're in the second quarter of the race. And you've got to say the Borlays crew have hung in really well here. And when I talk about these rivalries, we've got in the bow seat of the Henley Rowing Club crew, Finley Ribbon, and sitting in the stroke seat of the William Borlase crew, Ross Lamont. And these two actually sculled together. They learned to scull together in Peterborough. Now they find themselves ex-doubles partners, head to head against each other on the Henley course, and they're virtually side by side. Oh, I mean, Henley, just some great stories here. You know, athletes go on to other clubs, they go on to race in other events, and um, a story like this, ex-teammates now facing each other in an event like the Forley. Well, that's, uh, it, it's intense, right? It is intense. They've come past Forley now. That's the halfway marker within this race. And I guess what you're seeing now is everything that we, that we skull for, everything that we row for. The school crews making their way up the course here and they're absolutely locked in side by side. This is where their technique will be put under pressure. The headwind is not too strong. It's not affecting their blade work too much, but it's holding them, it's making the race slower. So it's about their technique, it's about their physicality, and it's against their mental approach. How well can they hold it together now, getting into this difficult third quarter? Well, that was a lovely little look there by Mr. Leonard in the bow seat for Sir William Borlase. He can see that Henley are still well within reach, and for a crew that was only in the B final at the National School what a step on this would be to take on last, well, 2019's finalists in this event, Henley Rowing Club. They were finalists in 2019. Uh, they didn't quite get all the way, but they've got a real fight on their hands to even try and, well, not only make the final, but make the Friday. Here comes William Borlase. What a move. They're now a canvas up. The lead has changed. Well, this is my race of the regatta so far. Look at these two, absolutely side by side. You've just got to wonder what's going through these young men's heads. I know Ben Furley sitting in the two seat of that Borlase crew. He's finished his A-levels, graduating from William Borlase, along with a number of these other boys. And they're sitting there, they're thinking how long they've worked for it. I've known him since he was 15 years old. He's focused, he's trying to hang in the race as we now have a look at the Henley Rowing Club crew. They train on this piece of water. They'll have learned to row on this piece of water. Now they're hanging in there. Well, what on earth are Henley thinking right now? Home water, like you say, home advantage. And Sir William Borlase have decided to go early. Will it cost them? Uh, they're now half a leg. Oh, gosh, no, it's changed again. Henley are all responding. Um, we just saw, I thought from the pictures, Borlase was continuing to scull away, but Henley have swapped it over. They've turned it on its head. Can Borlase go again? The Borlase will be desperate to go again. I know they were inspired by Jack Beaumont and his performance in the, in the quad in Tokyo, winning that silver medal. They listed, they're inspired by that performance. He went to their school. They want to emulate his performance here, win the Forley, but they're going to have to really come back now. You can see it bang on here. It's moved out to half a length, and it looks like Henley Rowan Club are just starting to squeeze to get away. Ball is desperately trying to hang in now. Yeah, that would have taken a lot in the middle of the course to go for a bit of a push. And uh, it can be a dangerous game. Spending your coins too early means that uh, by the end of the, the, the course, when you're tired, when you've got to do that sprint, you've got nothing left to spend. And Henley are sticking to their race plan here. They're sticking to their mid-race rhythm. And actually, they're now moving away even more so. Yeah, it's been a strong last minute while we've been looking overhead here. 
for the Henley crew. You can see great, great skull and technique from both of these boats. That you see them moving pretty well together. If anything, uh, I just see that the steering now on the ball lace crew, they're getting dragged in towards the middle of the course. I don't think that's really going to help them. They'll pick up a little bit of, bit of sort of bow toe, and it's almost coming up now to a length. Yeah, look, you can just see the blades of the winds uh, of the Sir William Bollet's crew catching on the puddles of Henley Rowing Club, which is not where you want to be, just making it harder for yourself. And actually, I think Henley will know that they've got the space, they've got that length now, and here they come emphatically into the closing stages, and they will know that is a, a hard-fought win, but a really well-earned win against the quality crew like Sir William Borlase. But Borlase really took the fight to them. What a race, one of the races of the day in the Foley Challenge Cup.